Cinco de Mayo. That's right. Today, we are making the most amazing salsa verde enchiladas. Let's go. What the fuck is enchilada? I'll tell you. We have some beautiful ground beef here, some refried beans, some pinto beans, some beautiful oraca, fresh cheese, and uh, we're gonna make the best salsa verde using my salsa verde, but we're gonna add some fresh herbs to it, some fresh jalapeno, kind of like make it even more vibrant than it already is. And then we're gonna wrap this mixture of like beef and beans and sauce into some nice, beautiful flour tortillas. And we're gonna bake this in the oven and then sour cream dip. Mm, let's go, let's do it. Okay, first step, we're gonna start with the salsa verde. Very simple. What you wanna do is use a base of salsa verde, obviously, that we're gonna just kind of like elevate to the next level. So what I'll do is get the blender here and just put everything in there as I go. We're gonna put two full bottles of this stuff right in there. Oh yeah, Billy. Oh, Billy. What you can do also to make sure you don't waste any of that delicious green nectar, little water in there. Beep, beep, beep. Boom. No waste. Two bottles. Let's go. Recycle. Don't be a loser. Next step, cilantro. I'm just gonna eyeball everything, guys. That's how cooking should be, you know? We're not doing pastries here. We're making some food that comes from the heart. So you know what I mean? Next up, it's already spicy as it is, but you know what? We're crazy, so let's just go for it. I'm still gonna take the seeds out of this jalapeno, though. Seeds out, all that white membrane bullshit that's also spicy. Out of there. One full jalapeno, seeds out, stems out, in the blender. Let's go. A bit of green onion there, why not? Just a green. Boom. And then some garlic as well, just put like two cloves in there. One clove, peel that up, boom. Garlic in there. Okay, now some lime juice, fresh lime obviously. Squeeze that right in there, just for that extra freshness, you know? There's lime juice in the real stuff, but it just doesn't hit the same when it's, you know, freshly squeezed. Now time to blitz. Good old Vitamix here. That should do it. That's very fucking verde, if you ask me. Sad part about this beautiful green verde is, you know what, once in the oven, it's gonna turn to a sad, dark, greenish brown, but still delicious. Woo! Ho, ho, ho! That's a kick. It's actually so fucking good. Salsa verde. You can put this aside for now, put it in the fridge so it stays nice and green. Time for the beef. We're gonna start this on super high heat and then we're gonna get the, the beef to get some nice coloration. And then we're gonna take the beef out, put the beans in, mix it up, salsa verde, roll the shit up, put it in the oven, have a good time, let's go. Now for the beef. Olive oil in a hot pan. And the beef, when it go kind of like, not one big block, break it down like this. So you're gonna get more chance of having a nice little coloration on your meat. And color means flavor. That's right, baby. And now, do not touch your meat. I said, don't touch your meat, unless you really have to. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Okay, don't touch your meat. I'm just gonna put some salt right away, some pepper, leave it there. Don't touch it too much. Break it down a little bit like this. But don't flip it yet. It's time for some spices. I think I'm gonna do some cumin for sure. Chipotle, why not? A bit of cinnamon could be good in there actually. Some Mexican oregano, some paprika, why not? That's pretty much it. Okay, so we'll do cumin, about two teaspoons. See with the little, the little sparkler there, little, little dispenser? You kind of have a better idea of what you're putting in there. That's good for cumin. Do a bit of chipotle in there. You know, get some flavor in your beef, son. Some cinnamon as well. Oop, 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 oop. Some oregano, some paprika. Spices are done. We can buy some, uh, I think they call it like Mexican taco seasoning, whatever it's called, but you know what? Always better to do it yourself. It's mostly just salt anyway, so, you know? Get the good stuff. Let's check out what's going on here. Oh yeah, baby. See that nice coloration on that meat there? Oh, baby. Let that color a little more. Crisp up the meat, baby. Okay, next. It might look weird to some people. This is refried beans. 
You can get those most of the time in uh, in cans. Those are like dog, like dog food a little bit, but you know what? It's delicious. And also, I want to add some pinto beans in there too for some texture. Now we can just mix that up. Make sure everything is nicely mixed. What's not to like, you know? Beans, beef, cheese, salsa verde, tortillas. See, everything is coming together in this beautiful paste. Cook that up for a little bit. You just want to warm up the beans, to be honest, at this point. Kind of bring everything together. Once it's all warm, it's good to go. Okay, so the beef and beans mixture is good to go. Everything is warm, the beef is cooked. Put this aside, and now we're gonna set up our tortilla rolling station. Okay, it's time to roll some tortillas. I'm gonna put a few like this on the cutting board. Boom, boom. Okay, I'm gonna start with some beef and bean mixture. Like this, boom, be good. I know what it looks like, guys, by the way, okay? I'm aware of what it looks like, but sometimes it's not always about being pretty, you know? Sometimes it's just about being delicious. In this case, it's not food for the eyes. I mean, it's gonna look good at the end, don't get me wrong, but right now I know what it looks like. Just, just you know what, go in the comments and tell me what this mixture looks like. Might be a bit heavy on the stuffing, but you know what? Should be fine. And now some cheese, obviously. Oaxaca cheese in there. Be generous, you know it's good. Okay, now, uh, when I roll these like this, just like a nice little cigar, you know? Boom. Could have maybe put less in there, but you know what? They're gonna be big boys enchiladas. We're gonna do salsa verde at the bottom here. And then we can just start stacking them. I think I might be able to do like, I guess we're only doing nine. Okay, now we're gonna put some more salsa verde on top like this. Oh, Bailey. Beautiful. And obviously, put some more cheese on top like this. Oh, yeah. It's so good. Time to cover this up with some foil. Let's go like this. Well, I just use one actually, yeah. Just one, it's fine. And we're gonna send this in an oven set on 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is, I have no clue in Celsius. Okay, so we're gonna bake this for 50 minutes uh, covered, and then take the foil off and uh, bake it for 10 more minutes until the cheese is beautiful and bubbly. bubbly, bubbly. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. Whoa. Take the foil off. Oh my God. That is beautiful. And now we're gonna let that in the oven for another 10, 15 minutes until the cheese is beautiful and bubbly. Let's go. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at this. Oh. Woo. And it's now time for my favorite part of every single video. Tasting time. Okay, let's do this. I'm just gonna eat right in the pot, because you know what? Why not? Oh yeah, right here, that's a nice cheesy bite. Oh my God. God. Oh my God. Look at this bite. Might burn my face off, but you know what? It's gonna be worth it. Oh, it's spicy though. Ooh. You know what's missing? Sour cream. That's what I forgot to buy. This sour cream dip. Just you know, tone, tone down the, the the spice a little bit. Oh man, I need another bite of this. Oh wow, that's a big fucking bite, baby. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. 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 If you want all your friends to show up to your single de Mayo party and tell everyone that the best food they had in their whole life was at that party, you gotta make this salsa verde. Enchiladas with the best salsa verde in the world, baby. On that note, if you enjoyed that video and want to see more of these amazing recipes, hit the like button, leave a comment, hit that notification bell, and subscribe. So yeah, you do that. I'll see you on the next episode of Always Enchiladas.